guys and welcome to the family fudge today i have a haul to share with you i just went to winco and i also went to the dollar tree now some of these things might seem a little bit random but stay tuned and i will share it all with you okay friends so right now it is saturday afternoon but by the time you're watching this, it'll probably be Sunday. So happy Sunday. The family and I just got back from a week at Disneyland and that was really fun. Now, if you'd like to see pictures from that trip, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I posted a lot of pictures there of our trip. So go check them out if you're curious. Now, this week's haul doesn't constitute like a meal plan or anything like that. That's gonna be in a different video. And you haven't had a chance to go to Costco, but I needed some things for some videos that I'm making this week. I have some recipe videos, some um, lunch videos for the kids, and then I needed some Christmas stuff as well. So it seems kind of random, I know, but as I'm going through these things, I'll kind of explain what they're for. So I'm going to start with the things from Winco, and I have to say, sorry about the lighting, you guys. In the afternoon, the lighting is not super great in here, but I'm gonna make, make, I'm gonna make it work anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and start back here. I picked up things for Jackson's birthday. I have this yellow cake mix and a thing of eggnog, and that's to hopefully make an eggnog bundt cake for his birthday, which I've never made before, so hopefully it'll turn out really well. I also picked up two packages of these orange rolls because that's what he requested for his birthday breakfast. And then for his birthday party, when all of his friends come over, I'm gonna be having them do this little kit and it comes with a snowman and a stocking and an ornament um, cookie and all the things you need to decorate. So that should be really fun. Hopefully it won't be messy. Now over here I have some ingredients for some crock pot hot chocolate that I'm hoping to share on Wednesday. So stay tuned for that video. But for that you're gonna need some half and half, some milk, some sweetened condensed milk and chocolate chips. It makes the best hot cocoa ever. Now moving over here, I have quite a lot of dairy products and that's to make some cheese grits. On Wednesday, I'm also gonna be sharing a recipe for a cheese grits casserole, which is perfect to have on Christmas morning because you can make it ahead. So stay tuned for that video. But you basically need grits and lots of different kinds of cheeses. I also picked up some butter for some holiday baking. Normally I get Kerrygold, but it gets pretty expensive. So when I have a lot of baking to do, I just go with the regular stuff. Oh yes, and over here, this is Monterey Jack cheese. This is sharp cheddar cheese. I have some sliced Jack cheese. This is actually for lunches this week. I'm doing a whole week of Christmas themed lunches. So a lot of these items are gonna be going into those lunches. I also have some Parmesan cheese and two cans of the Crescent dough. A lot of times when you're using a recipe that calls for crescent dough, you'll have to pinch the little perforations together, but if you get it in the sheet, it's a lot easier. Over here, I have a little container of the garden vegetable cream cheese, and I also have some little baby pickles, and these are going into an appetizer recipe that I'm hoping to share with you. Over here, I have lots of navel oranges. These are so good at this time of year. Those are for school lunches and for some other projects. I got some little turkey pepperoni bites. The kids love these, and they're perfect for throwing into lunches. I got a couple of pears, a couple of persimmons. I got this bag of broccoli and cauliflower, a bag of sugar snap peas. I also got these things, which are kind of a treat. This is rice pudding, and it's in a little teeny cup. Over here, I have some carrots, just a couple of carrots this week. Also a loaf of bread for school lunches and the grapes. Now I have to tell you guys, this bag of grapes was originally full, but they fell out of my car and onto the street. So I lost half of my grapes. Moving over here, I picked up some celery and some lunch meat. Now normally I get my lunch meat at Costco, but I wasn't going to Costco today, so this is gonna be just as good, I hope. We have some turkey breast, some rotisserie chicken, and some honey ham. Oh yes, I'm back here. I have a two liter bottle of 7-Up, which is for Jackson's birthday party. Now also from Winco, I picked up some tortillas, but these are actually green because there's some spinach in there as well, but they don't really taste like spinach, so hopefully the kids will go for those. I also picked up this little set. This is so cute. It was about $5 and it comes with the oven mitt and then two little towels. And I just love the green and the plaid. 
And then finally, I picked up a gingerbread mini village kit. Now, normally I make my own gingerbread houses, but this was really cheap, only about $6. And there's one little house for each person in my family who wants to make one. So this year, I'm taking some help from the store and making it easy. Now, moving on to the things from the Dollar Tree, I'll go ahead and start back here. I picked up three of these Christmas kitchen towels. I think these are so fun and festive. This one says Jingle Bells, we have a snowman, and Santa. And then I also picked up several new stockings. Surprisingly, the stockings from Dollar Tree are really nice, especially for a dollar. And I really like this burlap one with the glitter snowflakes. But unfortunately, they only had two of those. So I picked up one for John, who's my husband, and one for myself. And then for the kids, I picked up these ones. And this is sort of a sparkly material with the snowflakes. So they kind of go together. So I picked up four of those. And then for the kids to decorate, I picked up these ones. So it's sort of a stocking that they can color. I know they're gonna love doing that. So I have one for Mackenzie, one for Jackson, and then there's one for Lily. Now these are really fun, you guys. I also picked up several of these elf hats for my kids to wear in our Christmas photo cards. Aren't those fun? They have little jingle bells on them. I also picked up a bag of gift bows and some wrapping paper. Now there are some years where I like to buy the wrapping paper from Costco because, because it's really good quality, but other years I just like to buy the cheap stuff. So right now I have these from the Dollar Tree. I really like the plaid one and then this one has little uh, Toy Story characters on there. And you guys know I love Disney, so had to pick up that. And then this one has My Little Pony. My daughter Mackenzie is totally into My Little Pony, so I know she'll love that. Now back over here, I picked up six of these reusable cups. Now these look like they're glass, but they're actually plastic, and they're actually really nice. Um, now over the holiday season, I host a lot of parties. We have Thanksgiving, and then we also have birthdays, and then Christmas as well. And so I got these cups for the kids to use when they come over to my house. So hopefully we'll be able to reuse these for all of our gatherings. And I really like that they have a lid so the kids won't spill their drinks. Moving over here, I picked up two of these really cute Santa mugs. Now they also had one just like this with a snowman as well. Now lastly, I picked up these sort of miscellaneous items, starting with three of the little packages of tea lights. And these are actually the taller ones that look more realistic and I really like those ones. I'm hoping to put these on my buffet for Christmas dinner. I also picked up a pack of the screen cleaning wipes. I'm not sure if these are gonna work, but I'm crossing my fingers. I also picked up some wrapping paper cutters. These make wrapping presents really fast and these are nice and sharp. And then finally some more pens because I'm always running out of pens and these ones from the Dollar Tree are actually really nice. Okay friends, thank you so much for joining me today. Now I know during the holiday season, I feel like I'm always running back to the store for a few things for some projects. Let me know if you're the same way. And just so you guys know, the Dollar Tree put out some new things this week and they also had a lot of stocking stuffers. So if you're in need of things like that, check out the Dollar Tree. Now if you liked today's video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. I'm hoping that you will come back for these other videos that I'm planning on making as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.